What, 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 what up, people of the world? Special Caesar here coming at you with more sweet video game lunacy, folks. Welcome to my first ever campaign of War Tales. I'm super excited to finally be playing this. I really love the look of it when it first came out, but it came out in early access. So I've decided to leave it for longer for more content to be released. It's now in version 1.2, as you can see down here. And they've had quite a few, well, they've had a couple of content updates. So I think I'm ready to finally sink my teeth into it. Now, as I did say in the title, this is an entirely blind playthrough. I haven't looked up any strategies, any of the meta, any builds, any items. I know nothing about nothing at all. Of course, we are going to be diving in on the hardest difficulty because why wouldn't you? If it's meant to be a challenging game, we're going to put that theory to the test. Now, just before we dive in, I want to give a quick shout out to all the viewers, new viewers and subscribers of my channel. We've now got up to 700 subscribers, guys. So the Legion is growing and I do hugely appreciate it. So thank you so much for all the love and support you're showing me. It really means the world to me seeing my channel grow as much as it has. You guys are awesome. So thanks for being here, Lance, buddy. Speaking of awesome, welcome to the party, pal. Thank you for joining. We are just about to start a new campaign of War Tales. Entirely blind. As I said, we're going to be going in on hardest difficulty. What's this? Your companions are... Choose your destiny. Apprentice friends looking for an adventure. Sorry, I need to turn my phone down. Down or off. Do not disturb. There we go. All sorted. It is like deja vu. What's well, like deja vu, my friend? So, Apprentice looking for an adventure starts with plus 30 influence, minus 30 XP to companions' experience. Starting companions are a swordsman, an archer, a ranger, and a brute. So, you get four different guys. Or we could be men escorting merchants who lost their employer. You start with an extra 150 crowns, which I guess is the currency. One less medicine. You start with a swordsman, a warrior, a spearman, and a brute. That could be quite good. I don't know. I've got no idea. They sound cool. <laughs> Starts with companion's experience plus 50. Suspicion plus 50. Oh, we're deserters fleeing an abusive captain. <clears throat> Starting companion, swordsman, archer, ranger, brute. Okay, I don't know what any of these are. So we're not really sure what we're going to do yet. Start bonuses. Young farmers looking for a better life. Starts with plus 10 bread. 50 less crowns. You get a brute, two spearmen, and an archer. That sounds like it could be quite good, I think. I don't really know. Or you could be bandits looking to escape the guard. That gives you 100 extra crowns, but your suspicion is plus 95. Starting companions, brute, ranger, ranger, archer. It doesn't give you any kind of indication like difficulties of these different backgrounds. Like Battle Brothers gives you one skull, two skull or three skull according to how difficult they are. This one doesn't seem to have a rating at all. I'm just going to be constantly comparing this to Battle Brothers just so we're clear guys. You're streaming today again. Yes, I decided to pick up War Tales. Been thinking about it for a while. Um, now that we've kind of settled into Battle Brothers stream and we're a good... Halfway through, I'd say, where I want to get to, um, and we've stabilized. I want something else to be able to stream in the afternoon, so we're not doing, instead of doing seven or eight hour long Battle Brothers streams, we'll do three hour long Battle Brothers stream in the morning, then I'll take a break and then do a three hour War Tales stream in the afternoon. I think it'll be much better for, just to give a bit of variety to the channel. They're similar games though, so it'll be a similar kind of atmosphere, I like to hope. Um, I think we're just going to go with this. Start with the first one, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know what any of these things do. I don't know what any of the stuff is. So we'll just start with the first because, you know, why not? Fuck it. Your companions are used to long walks. Reduces the speed at which the troops fatigue stacks by 10%. Our cunning fighters' experience gained in combat is increased by 10%. They show incredible resilience. Their constitution is increased by 10%. They are excellent at slap games. The critical damage is increased by 10%. 
or are quick learners. Experience gain for each profession increased by 10%. Well, again, I don't know what anything really does. I don't know what the hell professions are or what they do. Critical damage is obviously critical damage, but I don't know if we have any backgrounds which say excel at doing critical damage or what. So I think I'm just going to go with Constitution because that will just give me the best chance to learn the game. Just having bros with large amounts of health will help them stay alive. And that will give me like a buffer to learn things as I go along, kind of. Flavius, welcome to the stream, buddy. Two streams in one day, we must have been good lads. Yes, but in case you had not noticed, this stream is of War Tales. It's very similar to Battle Brothers. I can see how you get them confused, but unfortunately they're not. Flavi, look at this, buddy. What's this? We've already got an axe laid out for you on the side right here. We knew you were coming. We were just like, we'll just put that there for Flavi. He'll want that. Yeah, we're going to go with Constitution. If they had a flaw, it would be a somewhat meek appearance. Each companion's carrying capacity decreased by one pound. Eternal dissatisfaction reduces the troops' happiness by one an uncommon bout of bad luck. Critical hit reduced by 3%. Very hard time getting up. Danger during rest increased by 10%. Or a serious lack of self-confidence. Re willpower reduced by 1. These all sound like quite powerful debuffs apart from the critical hit. Like critical hits are kind of like you don't rely on them. They're an, off there a chance of doing things. And having it reduced by 3% doesn't seem like that much to me. So we're going to go with critical hit debuff. Uh, starting region, Tilton County. Yeah, Tilton County Independent State. Progress in the game to unlock new starting regions. Okay, so you can only start in this one so far. What's War Tales? Snow Leopard. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. I don't know much, but I will mention some things I do remember if you want. Yes, go ahead. Feel free to... Bestow your knowledge upon us, Lance. Uh, while I set the game up. Difficulty of combat. Pshaw. 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 What am I, a chump? Pshaw. How dare you even ask. War Tales is a challenging game. Be sure to reduce the difficulty level if it doesn't feel right. Notice how it doesn't say increase the difficulty level if it doesn't feel right. <laughs> so that could be a foresight foreshadowing our doom. I don't know. Difficulty simulation is going to be hard as well. Simulation difficulty affects your companion's tiredness, hunger, and wages. So I guess they get they have to be paid more, they eat more food, and they get tired faster, I should imagine, on hard mode. Save mode is normal. What does that mean? You can choose between different save modes. Free mode, you can save at any time and, take, and make multiple saves of the save game. Meh. Normal mode, only one save per game, but... Whoops. One save per game, but you can go back at any time to certain checkpoints. Like the last village you visited, the beginning of a battle, etc. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're going to do normal, I think. And Iron Man mode, absolutely not. We are not doing hardest difficulty Iron Man mode on my first blind playthrough for obvious reasons. Some bandits can be captured and turned back in for more money. Food may management is really important. Yes, okay. That would make sense, I suppose, in a, in a mercenary management game. Hell yeah, but I want something else for this one. Someone else can be the crazy axe maniac. Okay. Avoid the mist in the forest at all costs. Whoa, Lancer, no spoilers, buddy. You can give us some stuff, but try and avoid spoilers. Like, that could have been... Yeah. I'll bear that in mind, but I don't want... I want to find stuff like that out for myself. Uh, check every corner of buildings. Okay. Yeah, we're not doing IMMO. We're going to do normal exploration free. What does that mean? Mm. We're going to be doing free. Save name is going to be Caesar's Boys. There they are. Caesar's Boys. So, who wants a named companion? 
I'd love to be a big two-hander if that's okay. Uh, yeah, how about this person? Snow Leopard. This person has a massive two-handed hammer. That looks pretty cool. Name. What nickname? It's not a nickname, it's her actual name. Snow Leopard. How do you spell leopard? Leopard. Leopard. Snow leopard. Uh, do you want to be male or female? Uh, I'd love to be an archer. Yeah, we've got an archer here, Lance. No problem. I can sort that out for you in a second. Snow leopard, are you male or female? I won't bother doing too much. You can just tell me the sex. The gender. Starting weapon. Oh, you can change the starting weapon. you got a choice between two. Well, you wanted the big two-hander, so we'll go with the big two-hander. Ram. Deals four damage to all units in the area. Damage is increased by 50% against all units that still have armor. It says all units in the area. Does that include friendly units then as well? You want a Robin? Male. You're male, okay. There you go. That'll do. Traits. Random positive traits. Bloodthirsty gives you increased critical hit chance. Brawny increases your constitution. Strong increases your strength. Nimble increases your dexterity. Hardworking gives you 20% more professional experience. Clever gives you 5 more experience. Quick gives you movement increased by 1. Volunteer reduces your wages. Thick skin gives you base guard, whatever guard does. And stocky is carrying capacity increased by 3. Uh, I think we want to give you constitution because I want the constitutions to stack. And uh, I want really super buff, buff guys who've got loads of health because that'll help us. Um, um, it'll be like a buffer while we learn and make mistakes and stuff. Oh, you can add another positive trait. So we're going for brawny. Uh, we want probably strength for the next one. I'm guessing this is a strength weapon. Yeah, strength. So we're going to go with strength. What's this? Random negative trait. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So you can have two positive traits, but if you add a second positive trait, you have to pick a negative trait. Negative trait. What are the negative traits? Glutton. A glutton will eat plus one food each day. What an appetite. Pickpocket. Costs an extra three in wages. Lazy. Earns 20% less profession experience. Stupid. Gains 5% less experience. Club-footed, movement reduced by 1. Unlucky, critical hit reduced by 3%. Carrying capacity reduced by 3 as a loafer. Depressed, reduces willpower by 2. Or drunkard, must consume alcohol with every meal to be happy. That could be interesting. We're not going to do that yet. I think we're going to go for the critical hit reduction again. As a hammer, a two-handed hammer guy, you're not going to rely on critical hits, are you? You're going to rely on raw power. I assume. What's this? Wrath. Ram and Wrath. Wrath deals 5 damage to the target if they have less than 50% health left. Fatal Blow. This unit gains Fury. So Fatal Blow is triggered if this ability kills the target. Okay. Damage of the next attack increases by 50%. Or we have first aid. Vigilance cannot be used if this unit is engaged in combat. Okay. Heals an ally for 10% of their max health and removes all applications of poison, bleeding, and burning. Okay, that might be useful. We're probably going to need that on someone. And taunt forces the target to engage and inflicts weakening to them for one round. Damage reduced by 50%. Okay. We probably want this. We probably want wrath on the hammer guy. So yeah, we're going to do that. Why Why did his name not... Did that not save? Why is it not saving as Snow Leopard? Snow Leopard. Done. Close. There we go. I don't know why I didn't save the first time. Uh, so you want the archer to be called Robin Hood? Yeah. <coughs> 
that'll do. I'm not going to get too much into the appearances and stuff of characters who are probably, let's be honest, going to die in the first five minutes of us playing. Starting weapon you can't change by the looks of things. It's just a bow, which is shoot. <coughs> Deals four to seven damage to the target. Shots based on dexterity. Cannot be used if the combat is engaged in combat. If the, if the unit is engaged in combat. Run disengages and moves in a straight line up to five meters between units. Or first aid again. Or aim. Gain deafness. Range of the next attack is doubled and precision is enhanced. That could be really useful, but I think what will be more useful is disengaging. Yeah. Being able to disengage, I suppose, would be useful as an archer. I'm not really sure. Uh, we want dexterity on him, obviously, because dexterity, nimble is... You know, that's based on dex. Uh, do we want a second trait on him? Critical hit, maybe. I don't think so. I don't think we want a negative put. I don't think we want a negative trait. We can just have a positive of dexterity on Robin Hood. Just one will be fine. Flavius, buddy, what um, if you're still here? What, what would you like? We've got a choice between a swordsman, level 1, and a ranger, level 1. Quick. What, you want quick on Robin Hood? Quick. Movement increased by 1. But then we have to take a negative trait, don't we? Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. His name's not Jack, his name's Robin. <laughs> Uh, what uh, negative uh, modifier should we have on him, though? Critical hit again, unlucky. Loafer? No, I don't want that. Drunkard? I don't know how much drunkard affects you. If you drink alcohol with every meal, do you get drunk and then can't aim? Like, is that, does, is that something that's in the game? I don't know. To hell with it, I want a female assassin. Dagger, short swords, dual wield, critical based recreating my old wow character all right no worries we can work on that yeah i think we just uh we just give him none and you just have him dex increased by five so you want a female uh may woman what does she look like her hair is awful we just do something about that hair can we rotate how do we rotate no we can't that looks a bit better at least I quite like that. That looks fine. Uh, name of your uh, female assassin, Flavius? Scrawny, maybe. All right, I'll go back and take a look. I'm totally cool with that. Cool, that's good. Flavius, do you have a name for your female assassin? Starting weapon can't be changed. Stab, deals 6 to 8 damage to the target. Ambush increases the critical hit chance by an extra 30%. Ambush triggered when this unit attacks an enemy from behind. Okay. And then she's got Wrath. Deal 6 damage to the target if they have less than 50% health left. So that's like Decapitate in Battle Brothers. Okay. What's the other thing she has? First Aid. We probably don't want. Run. Probably don't want. Probably want Wrath on her. We want critical chance, you said, right? Critical hit increased by 3%, bloodthirsty. And this is what? Dexterity? So we probably want dexterity as well. Dexterity increased by 5%. And the negative trait on her can be constitution, maybe? Or lazy. Let's have her be lazy. Or stupid. Gains 5% less experience. Flavius, how do you feel about being stupid? Call her Shadow Pierce. I love it. Perfect. Sounds like a great name. Don't make her name Flavius. <laughs> so we got Shadow Pierce, the stupid female ninja. Shadow Pierce, the bloodthirsty, nimble, stupid ranger. And then we've finally got the swordsman. 
No thanks. What, you don't want to be stupid? What would you like instead? Pick one. Pickpocket. Oh! You're going to be a fucking cost us extra three in wages, you cheeky bastard. Pony. Oh, we can click, we can change the pony. We need a name of our pony. It's not a pony, it's a stallion. Pony appearance. Oh, I like the chestnut one. Oh, there's loads. Fuck me. I like this one the most. Pickpocket is negative. All sorted, Flavi. No worries. Skills. Rush. Deals 4 to 5 damage to the target. Melee strength. Traits. Oh, we want stocky, right? Carrying capacity increased by 3, probably. Bloodthirsty. Constitution. Strength. Dexterity. Movement. This guy. No, he probably just wants carrying capacity. This time I get paid for my services. Paid a bit too much by the sounds of things, Flavi, if I'm being honest. Gribs, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. You are just in time to claim a character if you so choose. We have one more character left, this swordsman. He can either be a tank and spank sword and board guy, or he can be a two-handed swordsman. But we've already got a two-handed hammer, so I'm going to make him a tank and spank boardsman. You want to be called Quick for the Horsey? Or do you mean you want Quick on the Horsey as in this, movement increased by one? I think that's what you meant, right? Oh, yes, please. Gribs, hello, brother. Tanky Spanky. No worries. Gribs the trying again? Or something different? Uh, <laughs> we can have the horses a drunkard. Should we have the horses a drunkard? <laughs> Must consume alcohol with every meal to be happy. <laughs> I think we should have a drunkard horse. That would be fucking hilarious. Gribs is good. Okay, I'll get that sorted for you. No worries, buddy. He looks like a Gribs, I have to say. I'm not sure what a Gribs is, but he looks like one. Uh, do we want first aid or do we want something else? We want taunt, don't we? Yeah, yeah. I think we want taunt. But we need someone with first aid in the party. So he's going to have taunt. What traits? We, want, we obviously want constitution to increase his health. And I think we want guard as well, so thick-skinned. But what... Gribs, are you happy being stupid? Which negative um, debuff should we go for? Actually, let's go for critical hit because he's a tank. His critical hit really doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, let's go with unlucky because criticals just don't matter on a tank. Okay, so what have you got? You've got wrath. Okay, that means the hammer man can be our person who has first aid because one person needs it the assassin needs the extra damage i reckon okay that's our party guys everyone happy <clears throat> they don't like they have very good equipment do they i'll just take the hits what skills do i have i missed that um what, Shadow Pierce? Your skill is Wrath. And Stab.
Great. Let's go then. Let's do it. I can't believe we're having a drunk horse. Barn Dawn for a shield. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. It's just, it like, looks like a barrel lid and he's just like shaved the ends off. I played this before and died because I didn't know I had to sleep. <laughs> Genius. You won the first aid, Flavio, on Shadow Pierce. Okay, as long as one person has it. So you've got first aid, you've got wrath instead. Cool. As long as one person has first aid, I'm happy. Right, let's do this. Your companions are off in search of adventure. After a few days of quietly travelling along, their only feat was not getting lost and they have reached their destination. Here surely awaits some novel and exciting quest that will stir up the uneventful lives of bored apprentices. Adventure awaits at the end of the road for those who make it there alive, that is. Okay, so what's this? Oh, are these things on the map? Okay, so start... Let's pause it. I know space is pause. So it looks at the um, the hotkeys. Leave wrath for the two-handed. Yeah. yeah, no worries, Flavius. Um, okay, so what we got? Troop and bonuses. You have five companions in your troop. General bonuses. Constitution increased by 10. Critical hit reduced by 3. Equipment bonuses. Increases the troop's happiness by 4. Knowledge. The knowledge ability helps you learn new blueprints, patterns, and recipes from the compendium. Discover new areas to fill in the progress bar and earn knowledge points. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Each region has its own scenario, and you can follow its progress here. You haven't started the scenario for this region yet. That's cool. Suspicion. A high suspicion level will cause you to be sought by the guards. And you will have to pay for your crimes. Wanted level, five stars. The higher your wanted level, the more frequent the guard's patrols will be. You're currently not wanted by the guard. Okay. So the um, the the origin where you're being hunted by guards, you start with 95 suspicion out of 100. So that's like max suspicion, basically. That's quite interesting. I have enough damage you to crit. It will be more useful to Snow Leopard. Have I played it before? No grips. This is entirely blind. Never played it before. Never watched anything on it. Never read anything up. This is all just learning for me. Uh, Chiltern Country. Day 1. 12 hours. Check your troops fatigue to know when you need to eat. Set up camp and rest. Use the campfire to cook a nice meal and get some sleep. Check your troops' fatigue. How do you check their fatigue? Oh, okay. Where's their fatigue? Huh. I don't see fatigue anywhere. Is this our inventory? Jeez, there's so many stats to read through. Pain does not have a profession yet. Choose a profession. Tinkerer, novice, can learn recipes and craft and enhance camping gear at the camp workshop. Critical hit plus 2%. So we obviously want that on the assassin, right? Shadow Pierce. You can be a tinkerer because that gives you plus 2% critical hit. Boom. Pretty fun. I haven't got very far into it. Well, one tip. Sleep. The bar at the top. Yeah, is that their fatigue bar, is it? Because I can't see a fatigue bar anywhere else. This is telling me to check my troops fatigue. Does that mean this is the fatigue bar, is it? Does that go down as I move or something? Inventory. Raw materials. A few scraps of metal and leather. Handy for repairing companions. Armour in a fight. Armour points restored 10. OK, 
Okay, medicine, a powerful salve that heals a companion's injury. The vial is collected after use. <clears throat> Crunchy fruity apples, food, okay, bread, a loaf of bread with a thick crust. All right. 100 crowns, I guess. Carrying capacity is 54. Camp weight is 5.5. .5 and weight in our inventory is 15.7. All right. Cool. So that's our inventory. What else we got? Happiness. Your troop's happiness evolves over time. Make sure it remains positive so companions don't leave the troop. Current happiness is plus 5. If it gets to minus 5, a companion will want to leave your troop. If you get it to plus seven, the maximum valor points is increased by one, whatever the fuck valor points are. Fifteen experience gained in combat increased by fifteen percent, and anything above fifteen grants you five swords in wreaths, Christmas wreaths, per happiness point. Oh, they're these things, whatever these are. Five of these, which is influence. So every gain above 15 gets you five influence per happiness point that's cool you can find different skills in the town by talking to people i think all right i'll check it out thanks mate um perform extra actions valor points okay valor points use your valor points in combat to use certain skills you'll gain some each of these you'll gain some of these each time you rest right Food. You must feed your companions before each rest. Make sure you have enough food in stock. Stock is 48. Consumption is 18. Crowns. Crowns are a basic currency. You must pay your companion wages every three days. Okay. Next due date, three days and zero hours. Current total, 100. Wages is 72. Right. All right. Okay. So what's this? Open menu. Resume. Okay. Paths. Paths combine the feats you've achieved and how to show your progress in the various possible routes. Oh my god, there's so much. <laughs> there always is when you're learning a massive new game, though, so that's fair. I enjoy it. So what's this game, then? Hello, Sneaky. Valor points are very important. This game is called War Tales. It's similar to Battle Brothers. So Mysteries and Wyndom, Wisdom, Power and Might, Trade and Wealth, Crime and Chaos, Mysteries and Wisdom. Progress. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Locations discovered. Regions completed. I got you. So these are like goals. These are like ambitions in um, Battle Brothers, but there's a lot more of them. Or you just have to fulfill them as you go up in numbers. Yeah, I see. Tombs of the Ancients explored. Zero out of six. Gotcha. Okay. So it's trade and wealth. Yeah, it's the same. They're just objectives, goals to achieve. Crime and chaos and mysteries and wisdom. All right, I get it. That's cool. We'll look at that a bit in more detail a bit later. World map. Well, that's helpful, isn't it? Cool. Okay. Oh, is there something there? Look, the cursor changes. Whoops, what did I do? Can we zoom in? That's as far as we can zoom in, is it? What's this? There seems to be something here. Huh, weird. Um, what else we got down here? World map, compendium. Cool, looks interesting. Yeah, mate, it looks like it's going to be a barrel of laughs. We're playing on the hardest difficulty as well. So, should be fun. Workshop. Whoa, this is some cool camping stuff already. All right, cool, I get it. Inventory is inventory. Okay, cool. So I guess we just, whoops, I keep pressing W to move around the map. How do you move around the map? Oh, you can't actually move around the map. You just rotate around this, you, your party as a center point. So it's a bit, a bit more like Bound, Mountain Blade, Banner Lords. Let's go see what this is. Oh yeah, it's glowing now. There's like a star there. We've got two of these. What's that? Comfrey. Comfrey is a common place in priories and fields. 
Okay. Ooh, what's this? Oh, bandits. A hoodlum and a poacher. They want a piece, do they? Let's fight them then. Where a combat, when your turn comes, play any unit you haven't used yet in the round. You can find out which enemy will then come into play. Prepare your strategy. Okay. Okay, so there's a poacher all the way back here. And there's a hoodlum here. Where's our archer? Two-hander, archer. Yeah, so archer can go here. Two-hander can go here. Shadow Pierce can go here. And Gribs can go and engage the poacher, stop him from shooting. So, yeah, you, Robin Hood, are going to shoot. You're going to move to here. Uh, and you're going to shoot him. Good shot. Nice. Now that's your turn over, yeah? The hourglass, I assume. Wait, who's going first? The hoodlum is going next. Five, five, ten. Maybe we should get this guy to engage. Yeah, he can't reach the archer anyway. Yeah, Gribs can get in there. You're going to move to here. Uh, and you're going to slice this guy. Engage. When you perform a melee attack on a free enemy, you engage them. An engaged unit can only attack their engaged opponent and has a higher chance of taking critical damage. Take advantage of this with your other units. An engaged unit is exposing their backs, attack them from behind to get a bonus. Okay. So what's the caution? What's the exclamation caution? Oh, is that just a man? Okay, I think that's something else. I don't know what it is. Caution? I don't, don't get it. Poisoning. Deal 67 damage to the target and applies one poison. Poison. Lose 5% of their max health at the end of their turn. Stackable as well. Nasty. Combat reminds me of Divinity. Click on shiny stuff after you pause. What, you mean on the world map? Or on this map? Can you pause it on this map? What does space do? No, space ends the turn. You can move them before you start. Yeah, work that out. Combat reminds me of Divinity. Yeah, it looks a bit like Divinity, doesn't it? It's quite similar. Can you zoom in? Uh, that's as far as you can zoom in. Let me attack from the back. That should increase the quick chance if I follow classic RPG tropes. Yes. Uh, the, um, blah, 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 blah. Shadow Pierce gets uh, like a 30% extra critical chance if she attacks from the back. Flanking and stupid two hand. It means they are focused at you. Flanking is really good. Okay. Well, I need to end the turn anyway. So let's see what he does. Oh, he attacked me and poisoned me for five damage. Shadow Pierce, you can move to here uh, and stab. There's a crit, nice. Can he now move again, like move somewhere else? Because he's not engaged, is he? Yeah. Can only target the engaged opponent has plus ten percent chance of clicking from other units, twenty percent from behind. So yeah, so he's not engaged, so I can move him like behind the rock if I want. Stop this archer. Or just move him in general. Yeah, I'm gonna move him out of the way so that this two hander can come in and smack this guy up and kill him so he doesn't get another turn. Bosh! No leopard! Your first kill! 
Oh, what's happened? Galvanization, what does that do? Damage increased by 50%. Fuck, that's pretty good. He's going to shoot at us. Four damage, that's fine. It took, or our, our armor took it. New round is starting. Shadow Prince. No, Gribs, you can move. You can move to. Move to here. And slice her. So that she's now engaged. And then end your turn. Shadow Pierce, you can move to behind her. And stab her. I don't want Snow Leopard getting involved. Because his swing will hit both of them, won't it? Let's work this out now. Surrounded. Surround an enemy. Surround an engaged enemy unit with two allies to get a bonus. A bonus on what? Surrounded. Damage taken is increased by 20%. That's cool. First attack, first crit. Hell yeah, it looks like I'm worth the extra pay. Yes, seems that way. Um, two handers have a round swing to hit more than one, but can hit teammates. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was about literally about to ask. So this will hit, you know, both of them. What if I do it like here? Will that only hit him? That's gonna hit that guy as well, right? If I do it like that, so that only him is highlighted, that'll only hit him, right? Not the guy behind. Yeah, aim the swing to clip, exactly. So we'll try that. Splam! <laughs> oh, I love that, that's awesome. Snow Leopard gets two kills. Gained 31 experience points, 9 influence, 2 lockpicks. Cool. Human remains, Poss probably hum useless remains, then again... What? Can you eat them or something? Can you go cannibal in this? Loot all. So, yeah, you can't pick these up. You can't pick up the human remains and play with them for some weird reason. Snow leopard. Uh, repair all damaged armor. We'll take two. Repair damaged armor and shields with your raw materials. Ah, oh, okay. So it'll take two to repair everything. I'm guessing that's something you want to do, right? I suppose we want to be combat ready as much as possible, so we're going to repair all the tools. We're going to repair all the armor, even. Because Grib's armor is damaged. He doesn't have any more armor, I don't think. And Snowpiercer as well. Shadow Pierce, even, sorry. I was combining Snow Leopard and Shadow Piercer. Uh, Shadow Pierce. Yeah, let's repair it. Pearl Alarm of two raw materials. Yeah, why not? And then we continue. Ooh, there's something shiny over here. Let's go get that, whatever that is. Oh, iron ore. Picked up some iron ore. Cool. Yes, repair always. Okay. So it's like having tools in Battle Brothers. You need to make sure you have enough tools. Oh, what's this? Green barrel. Inspect. Oh, hemp rope and mosquito proboscis. can steal them if I try, but I don't think I want to do that just yet. Bunch of ponies. Snogrid and Manart. Hello, Snogrid. Though the war in Adora has been a boon for my business, I can't help but feel for my poor horses. I can tell you aren't soldiers. Take them with you if you can. Yeah, we'll take them. Otherwise, they would most likely end up dead on the battlefield through no faults on their own. Do we just inherit three horses? 
That's a bloody horse each. Don't steal. Oh, are you a moralist, Gribbs? You're not one of these altruist people, are you? These horrible altruists. Uh, man art, let's see. When I think of how many people don't shoe their horses, it makes me want to pull out the little hair I have left. You don't have any left, mate. It's gone, unless you're talking about your beard. Are you talking about your beard? It isn't a bad beard. Elias, welcome to the stream, buddy. Thanks for joining. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's similar to Battle Brothers, so I thought I'd give it a go. Download it and check it out. Tell you what, you buy a horse from us and I'll throw in the horseshoes for free. I don't think we can afford a horse, buddy. How much a horse is? Patient animals chewing on cabbage leaves. Adopt. Oh, it's 180 to adopt. Or you can inspect it. Okay. Well, we can't afford them anyway, so let's get out of here. If that's is that all it is here? Then there's nothing. There's nothing of interest for us. Do you steal? I think he meant. What sneaky? Don't be sneaky. All right. Just because you're a sneaky little kobold and you run around stealing from everyone, doesn't mean everyone else is like that. Oh, what's this? You sneaky kobold. Oh, cloth. This cloth fabric allows you to craft clothing that will stand the test of time. Cool. I found some cloth. This game looks really in-depth. I think it's got quite a lot to it. Yeah, I'm just scratching the fucking surface, mate. And this is like my first, first attempt to play, so... I don't know where I'm going. I'm just following this road. Strom, Strom Cap. We're going to Strom Cap, apparently, guys. Oh, I saw something shiny over here. Let's go grab it. Something shiny over here. What is, what is this, fish? Looks like there's fish in the water. Selects an angler. New profession angler. Must be angler novice. Archer level one. Choose a profession. I can't choose any of these guys. Why can't I choose an angler? Angler, willpower plus one, can fish in fishing huts. What does willpower do? Use to boost the troops morale in combat also increases critical hit. 12 points, this unit survives the first time they should die in combat. Oh, we definitely want that on snow, um, pierce, what's it called, shadow pierce. We want willpower in that kit. Oh, he's already got this, he's already got tinkerer. Critical hit plus two. We probably want it on gribs then. Willpower plus one, that'll increase his morale. Mean, mean he'll most likely to run in combat if that's a thing. And also, it'll if he gets struck down when he's got 12 willpower, he'll get back up. So he's going to be an angler. Choose a profession, confirm. Gribbs is going to try fishing. Learn how to fish. Use a hook to cast your line in the water with left click. Once the fish is hooked, hold left click to keep the line tight in the central zone. Don't let the fish escape. Okay, what what do I do? I've got no hooks. I've got no hooks. So I don't know what I'm doing. Show help. Okay. Doesn't Okay, I guess because we've got no hooks we can't do anything. So it's a fishing spot of some kind. That's cool. And there's like a mini game in it as well. That's really cool. It's just not automated. It's not like an RNG thing. It's like you actually have to acquire some kind of skill in the game. Just borrowing. Nothing wrong with them sharing. <laughs> oh, so you're going to return it, are you sneaky? I understand. Sharing is caring. Need hooks, need metal. I see. Okay. So let's go to the town then. Strom Cap. It's night time. Is, it, is the... Oh, the time's not paused when you're in town. That's really weird. Why is it not paused when it's in town? 
Why is time not paused when we're in town? Three hairs market. Okay. What, what can we see? We've got Adres, Manobold, Renart, Damus, and Hadwig. A lot of stuff is made at a blacksmith. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at Adres. What are you, who are you? Please, can you spare some food? Get out of my face, you filthy pleb. How dare you talk to me. Manobold. Come, come, take a look at my wares. Leather is used to craft weapons, armor, and armor layering. Coal can be used with iron to forge powerful weapons and armor. Wood, the quintessential fuel source. Wood is also useful for making boats and weapon handles. Barber kit. Any mercenary who has spent a week in the wilderness has simple wants. A small blade, a shaving brush, and a little free time. That's cool. Woolen cloth. Whilst the quality of the wool is important, it is the method of weaving which determines the fabric's market value. Pottery. Somewhere between handicraft and art, pieces of pottery can be tricky items to travel with due to their propensity to break. And amber is prized for both its aesthetic qualities and its supposed curative properties. Okay, it's got curative properties, does it? We can't afford any of this stuff. I'm just saying, guys. We need to pay the men 70 in like two days, so... Well, you see, it's sort of kind of permanent borrowing. <laughs> yeah, it's permanent borrowing. Uh, we're just going to leave. I'm not going to steal anything. I'm not going to buy anything. Who's Rapart? Do you want some food as well? For a few crowns, I can polish your armor. I can polish my own armor, you dirty bum. Now get out of here. Oh, the sex bots are here, boys. We've done it. We've done it, chat. We've beaten the game. The sex bots are here to congratulate everyone and hand out their juicy rewards. Ooh, meat. Those refugees, I understand there's a war in Edoran, but that doesn't mean they can just help themselves. You don't say. Mutton. Just based on the smell, this meat is instantly recognisable. Food four. Dried fish. Balerian fishmen are known for their fish dried out in the open. Food one. Bass. This delicious meat makes for fine dining. Food four. Salt. Sold by the merchant. Salt is the key ingredient in cooking. Okay, so it's cooking like a skill as well that you have to get. Trading between different territories becomes very profitable late game. Okay. So I guess those are like trade goods, like in Battle Bros, where you just have to work out what the good prices for buying are at, and then work what the good prices for selling is at, and then you can make a tidy profit. There's room only for one pickpocket in the troop, and that place is mine. Sexy war tales bots. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Tell me about it. Alright, uh, I don't know if we need food or not yet, so let's leave. We'll come back if we do. What's Hadwig up to? You touch it, you buy it. Alright, crabby face. Didn't touch anything. Jeez. Crunchy, juicy apples. Food two. Sweet and sugary fruit. Food two. Appetizing little fungi. Price temporarily reduced. Is it minus three in total? Should we buy that then? So if the price is temporarily reduced, does that mean it's reduced to three or it's reduced by three? It must be reduced by three. Uh, at camping at night, trade and inventory management is a big part here. Okay. Uh, can you sleep when you're in town? Do you have to be out in the field to camp or can you sleep in town? I don't think we need any food now. We've got enough food for two days. Let's exit. Tilton Apothecary Clinic. What's this? New profession, Alchemist. Select an Alchemist. Okay, what does Alchemy give you? Can learn recipes and brew concoctions at the village apothecary table. Dexterity plus one. That's perfect. We want that on Robin Hood, definitely. Because I'll give him nine dexterity. Cool. Can we craft anything? 
Equipment type, offhand or medicine. Offhand, hand bomblet, incendiary flask, poison flask. Medicine is medicine. This is obviously what you need. Yeah, vial, marsh parsley, infected blood. Many people poison themselves when trying to make use of this type of poison. That's so funny. Medicine. We need comfrey for medicine and snow iris and a vial. Vial is collected after use. Okay, cool. That's really cool. I like. Who are you? Oh, you're the apothecary lady. My concoctions can heal the most grievous of injuries. Be sure to hold on to the vials after using them. Heal all your companions' minor wounds. We don't have any minor wounds at the moment, so I guess that costs... That's like using the temple in Battle Brothers, yeah? Reduced by three. Okay, thanks, Flavi. How dare you, Flavius? Yes, you can't just throw me out of my own profession. It's expensive to camp in town, is it? So is it cheaper just to go out into the field and just cheap it and uh, just uh, solo it under the stars? Vial. Medicine. 39? Fuck me. Cure for the plague. Oh, God. We can get the plague. Buy for one brain. What's the brain? Is that knowledge points or something? I don't know. Whatever. Let's leave. Anything else in here? Just those two. Okay. Travelers Feast in Town Hall. Let's check the Town Hall. There's literally nothing here but the Lady Mayoress Gontrad. Gontrand. Are you mercenaries? I'll have you know what we do not take kindly to refugees in these parts. Why, you ask? Because they have outrun our streets and are now taking to the roads. Edoran is sending our way anything with legs and a mouth that cannot wield a sword. You have your work cut out for you. There is no lack of honest folk in need of help to fend off the refugee menace. Okay. Is that is that it? That's all you have to say for, to me? Yeah, she doesn't have to say anything else. There's nowhere else to go, apparently. Okay, there's nothing in the town hall. Master Hulan's Forge. Talk and the Forge. Select a blacksmith. New profession blacksmith. Well, there's only one person who doesn't have a profession, and it's currently Snow Leopard, so I guess it's going to be you. Strength plus one, that's perfect. Can learn blueprints to forge items in the village forge. Strength one plus one, that's exactly what we want for him. Be wary of the fatigue bar. Remember, we need to eat and sleep. Yeah. Got yeah. I can see it there. No worries. So when it reaches zero, do you just die immediately? Or do you collapse or something? Or do you have like a certain amount of time to um, get it back up? So snow leopard. Throwing knife, throwing axe, targe. That would be good. Guide plus 11, armor plus 5. Basic armor, rags. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, interesting. What's the blacksmith got to say? You can use me anvil. I also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith if you happen to know one. Raw materials. I'm guessing we need to buy a lot of raw materials. They're five each. Price temporarily reduced by five. That would be good. To, it would be good to buy coal, wouldn't it, at this point? Stock up on coal while the price is temporarily reduced and then sell it for a, lot, a high profit later on. If we can buy it for four. We can spare. We can spare 30. We can spare six. Five. No, six. We 24. Have I do need to make din, so I'll have to. Love for now. No worries, brother. No worries, Sneaky. Just uh, enjoy, my friend. Yeah, I'm going to buy some of this while it's... No, that's steel. How do you buy? Oh, you click on it. Right-click. So it's one, two, three, four, eighty, six. So we've got enough. I'll buy one more. 
Seven equals twenty-eight. Yeah, exactly. So you got seven. It's exactly the right amount. Tilton restoration. Follow Tilton methods. Your troop optimizes the use of repair materials. Bonus repair materials restore five additional armor points. It's an order. I wonder how that works. Well, whatever. We've got some coal here. Maybe we can sell it somewhere. Uh, Travelers fast in. Emissary Grela. You got Feroff, L Age, Henuning, Gale Wild. Bloody hell, this game's big. Emissary Grela. Might you be looking for work? Our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requires are fulfilled. We regularly update our job offers. Review. Vanquish the Adolf Gang. The recent increase in caravan raids is attributed to the Adolf Gang. A bounty is offered to anyone who will put an end to this nuisance. Difficulty easy. Reward 125. We go south from where we are. Exterminate rat infestation. A rat infestation is destroying our lands. At night, we can hear piercing screeches coming from teeming masses. Difficulty average. So can you accept multiple contracts in this, or is it like Battle Brothers? You have to do them one at a time. Talk to everyone. I was going to, Flavi. Yeah, I was going to, buddy. Um, can you accept multiple contracts, or do you just get one at a time? Loot the bandit's lair. Bandit's lair is well guarded, but you'll be paid handsomely to destroy it. Another easy kill the Arnak gang. The outraged farmers have decided to raise money in order to put an end to these crimes. Cool. Fight Matthias Lund. Wanted for a string of murders. Matthias Lund is a dangerous individual. Okay, we'll come back to this in a minute. Because we're going to see what this guy, because he's in pink, says. Psst, you. Yeah, you. You're looking for work. I can give you tips and point you towards the best missions. The kind that pays much better than the measly rewards the mercenary guild has to offer. Of course, you'll then need, you'll then have to meet the clients and meddle in other people's affairs. But at the end of the day, it's the number of crowns in your purse that counts, right? Information. The wife of a man condemned to the gallows is desperately seeking help. Buy for 50. Influence. Ah, okay. So you buy these with influence, do you? And they give you contracts. They give you missions. Someone needs to help in the abandoned tower. At least that's what he's screaming out the window. A refugee is looking for mercenaries who can fight as well as they can negotiate. Captain of the guard is looking for mercenaries to help him bring a criminal to justice. That's really cool. I like it. Yes, you can have a few. Okay, so if you can have a few, we're going to pick up a couple of the two kill quests. We're going to have these two. Vanquish the Adolf gang. Yep, and we're going to have Vanquish the Arnalk gang. Nice. We're not going to do the average or hard ones just yet. We're going to do the two easy ones first for obvious reasons. Right, who are these people? Elleg. I was part of another group of mercenaries, but one morning they left without me. Oh, he's a recruit. Okay, so recruit for 30 influence and 60... Oh, bloody hell. He's a warrior level one. He's got sword and boards. Rusty felling axe. Slash skill. Slash deals 80 to 100% strength damage to the target. Critical hit applies bleeding. That would be quite a weapon, good weapon for a crit guy. But yeah. So do they have different, like, do they have different uh, traits, different skills? It said zero out of three contracts. Did it? Where was that? Where does it say that? I totally missed where it said that. Reach weapons or something to look into. Okie dokie, I'll bear it in mind, thanks. Um, yeah, do they have different attributes? Is it like Battle Brothers, where... They have different numbers here when you first hire them, and some are better than others. Definitely spearmen are very good. Okay. Raised by boars. Willpower increased by three as long as they are next to a boar in the camp. Earns 20% more professional experience. Okay. All right, so that's him. Are you just another... Are, you, are these all hireable bros? If you pay well, I'll come with you. 
Okay, 1360. Swordsman, Constitution. Yeah, they've all got different stats. He's nimble, dexterity increased by 5. That's completely useless on a strength placed character. It's part of another group of emergency, but one on the left without me. Yep, let's inspect. Ooh, this is a ranger. He's got good dexterity. He's bloodthirsty as well. But his movement is reduced by one. So, I don't think we need anyone else just yet. It's good to know what kind of prices they come at and what they're like. Yep, just like BB, the recruits could be good or very bad. Okay, so I need to establish an understanding of what the baseline is. What baseline attributes are. And then what constitutes as a good set of attributes. On top of the list of all available contracts shows how many you can have. Okay. I'll go back and have a look. Rest that your troop can recuperate and cover three. Requires 44 crowns. Yeah, you're not wrong. It is bloody expensive. <clears throat> oh yeah, contracts accepted. Two out of three. Gotcha. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, making them exaggerate their main stat is a great way to bend the game to your advantage. Yeah, min-maxing is always a thing in RPGs. Going to get some sleep. Take care, everyone. A good night. Good night, Flavius. Don't get the bros killed. I'll try not to, but we're playing on the hardest difficulty. It's the first time I've ever played. The chances are everyone's going to die. <clears throat> but sleep well, brother. Thank you for joining. Okay, so there's nothing else here for us. There's just people to hire... Uh, we've got our two missions. We want to exit. Let's see if we can sell the, the coal here by any chance. <clears throat> sell for two. No, okay. <clears throat> okay, so... How do you rest when you're out of, out of town? Oh, what's... There's nothing there. It's this, is it? Camp. Camp is a place for your companions to rest, have a meal, and go about various activities. So, does is it worth letting the fatigue bar get as low as possible? Does every single rest fill up your fatigue bar to max? In which case, it's good to let it empty out first and then set up camp. So you get the most amount of fatigue out of each camp use. <coughs> Food and armor repair tools are just like BB and make inventory management the mini game. Likewise, morale is very important. Okay. They show you the direction of the contract too. Yes, where you have to go, etc. This can help to see what uh, ones can help to save time, see where to go. <coughs> yeah. It should be on the map now, right? Yeah, there we go. We're going to vanquish the Arnulk gang. It's just up here. But I'm just wondering about... Hello, can we not walk this way? What the fuck? Come on, let's go. I was wondering about whether it's worth... Um... Oh, there's a lumber mill here. <clears throat> I 
Ooh, ornate key produced by an expert metal worker. This key probably opens intricate locks. We're going to take it because it's not stealing. Still, that's taking the wood would be stealing. <clears throat> Wonder what we're going to do with that ornate key. Cool. Inez, I'm terribly sorry, mercenaries, but here is nothing of interest for you here. This is but a simple sawmill. I'm a humble owner. Well, what if we want your balls? I don't know why we would, but it's just a question for you to con consider, really. Normally, yes. Drain and squeeze every drop of the day. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Hey, we just picked up three words. Right, let's go. It's over this way, right? I think. Yeah, it's straight ahead. Is this them? Yeah, this looks like them. Can you do the same thing that you normally do in Battle Brothers, where you drag people into the fight? So if we move with these caravanners, will they come and attack the caravan? No, they're running away. Let's go get this. Yeah, they ran away from the caravan. So let's go get them. Now they're coming to attack us. Two hoodlums and a poacher. <clears throat> Click on a cart. What, one of the wagons I just saw? Oh, what? There's fucking three of them. It said two hoodlums and, oh, and the leader as well. Two hoodlums and a poacher. What's this? Bear trap. Sometimes with a guard or other band you can. Okay, cool. Right, Robin Hood is going to be here. Scribs is going to be... We want Gribs on the leader, really. We don't, we don't want to go near that bear trap. So we want Gribs to be here. Shadow Pierce to be swapped with him like that. <coughs> Leaders provide bonuses to their team, do they? Leader, strength, dexterity, and constitution increased by 30%. So unit always deals critical hits. Fuck me, really? Devious Whirlwind deals 9 damage to all the units in the area. This attack hits several units, creates a cloud of poison under each of them. Cloud of poison applies 2 poison to any unit that walks through the cloud or ends their turn within it. Shit on me. As long as this unit is not engaged in combat, they and their allies always have leaders' aggression. So we need to put them into co we need to put them in combat, basically, as quickly as possible. Who's going to go first? One of my units, and then this hoodlum will attack, and then this guy, and then this guy, and then the guy at the. F okay, so we gank this guy, I reckon, before he gets a turn. <coughs> First one who's going to go is Robin Hood. He's just going to shoot this one and then stay where he is. Some items can be interacted with on the battlefield. You mean like this? I'm not going to go near the bear trap, that's for certain. Good shot. Got rid of his, all, all of his armor. Uh, and move. Don't want you being engaged, basically. But Can you see how far they can move? Movement 12. Is there any way of telling how far they can move? But besides the number 12. 12 doesn't help me do anything, you know what I mean? Like, how far is 12? 6 meters? There's no way to measure. <coughs> and there's no zone of control either, so move back here. Uh, end of turn. Snow Leopard's in trouble. Oh, fucking sex bots. Lock him down, then maybe CC if you have it. Yeah, I don't have anything to CC him. Don't have anything to stun him. Plus, we don't want to go near this. I think Gribs can come and...
Shoving them into the bear trap or throwing the javelin which can pierce through multiple targets. Uh, I can't shove. I don't have shove yet either. Let's go here. Attack this guy. Ouch. Critical hits. So he's not engaged at the moment. So this guy won't get bonus damage on him. Unless he runs around here. If he runs, will that trigger the bear trap? If he goes here? Let's find out. No, it didn't. Looks like you have to walk on it. Fuck, we're getting wrecked. Snow Leopard, everyone else has fought, right? So they can't, yeah, Snow Leopard just, just attack. <sighs> you can attack this guy and kill him. And then run over to here so he's engaging him. Well, he's not engaged, but he's next to him, so you can engage him next turn. Oh, there's oh, I see these javelins. I, I see what you mean. Well shit, he's just completely fucked us. This guy's about to die. Gribbs, you got one health left. No, you died. A dying unit can only move if you heal them before they take damage, they will be able to fight again. If not, they will be permanently lost. Okay. Well, I can't do anything, I just have to attack. Because I can't disengage, because I'll give away an attack of opportunity. Uh huh. How come we don't knock people back when we shoot them? He just eight damage. Show them into the bear trap of throwing the javelin, which can pierce them off targets. No, save me. Gribbs, I think it's too late for you, buddy. Oh, beautiful work, Shadow Pierce. Problem is, you're probably about to get shot. No, I want it to be your turn next. Fucking hell, he's just wrecking everyone. Well, that's game, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, he dies from poison. This guy's going to die from poison. Okay, so we can't let him come and attack us. We need to engage him first. Otherwise, it's a disaster. So let's try loading the... Is this the battle? The autosave, was it the battle or what? Or is that my save that I did at the start? Yeah, this is the battle, okay. So I think what we want to do is have him behind, have him there, and like, yeah, basically come and engage the leader immediately with him, with Gribs. 
keep the leader engaged. Then he doesn't have the critical hits. Uh, attack of the bots. Yeah, right. Good timing, right? So let's try this. Let's try moving you straight in. Movement is 12. That's 8.5. That's 10 meters. So if we move back and protect the archer. I say we move back and protect the archer. No, we need to come and engage this guy. Well, let's move back. See, see what happens if we move back. I ran through the bear trap. That's hilarious. Yeah, come to here. <clears throat> now he shouldn't be able to reach anyone. No, he did. Yeah, so basically, you can't get away from him. You have to just move in and attack him immediately. Otherwise, he'll just come in AoE and fuck you up with critical hits. So we need to go and engage him straight away with the tank. That seems like the strategy. Line of sight matters, does it? He's now dying immediately. You got low, no fucking health at all in this, do you? You just get like two shot and you're dead. Okay, so we need to redo this for obvious reasons. We just got wrecked. <clears throat> How expendable are your bros in this? They seem like they're quite expensive, to be honest. See if that sets off the bear trap. No, it doesn't. Brilliant. See that? Now the leader's now engaged. So he should lose that buff. Yeah. Seven damage. Fucking hell. Shadow Pierce. No, you can come to here. And engage this guy to stop him from getting on this on him basically well that's a good sign at least he pissed his, he punctured his ally and hurt his ally just as much so heals ally for 10% then max health removes all of cannot be used if this unit is engaged in combat can it be used if the other unit is engaged in combat So, for example, can Shadow Pierce come running up to this guy and heal him? Let's find out. I don't like that being so near this. I'm going to go to there. And first aid him. Oh, it can. So you can have someone standing behind healing. How did he shoot behind the guy? That's such bullshit. This guy was standing here and he like shot through and hit Gribs. I got a 17% chance to hit my ally. Go for it. And of course he fucking hits the 17%. Is this game like Battle Brothers where it's complete bullshit? Where it's like, you've got 5% chance of missing, but every other swing is a miss. Armor stacking will help, but yeah. Hard to replace. If they touch squares, they are engaged. 
Oh, really? If they touch squares, they're engaged, are they? I thought they had to actually melee attack. Well, that was complete bullshit. I shot fucking Snow Leopard instead of this guy, even though it was a 17% chance. How far can you taunt as well? Do you have to be engaged with an enemy to taunt them? Yeah, it's melee. You have to be in melee touch. So I guess we taunt him, because we're not going to kill him. And we can slice. If they touch squares, they're engaged. Okay, that's good to know. That'll trigger that, probably. No, okay. Well, Gribbs is going to die here again. It's fucking hard. Two damage. We're barely doing any damage. They're doing way more damage than us. Especially with the poison. So this guy has to shoot again. 83%. 12%. And he shoots us. What the fuck is with that? That is total fucking horseshit. Is it like Battle Brothers where, or, or like fucking XCOM? Where there's like hidden mechanics that it doesn't tell you that 5% actually means more like 30% chance to miss. Don't know about the taunt. Uh, well, we might be stuck here, guys. We might have to restart already because there's no other save to load. It told me that you could go back to, like, your... Oh, return to the last village. Okay. Okay, cool. So we can restart because otherwise we're stuck here. We can't do this without another bro by the looks of things. It looks like you need at least one more bro, one more guy to tank. This guy will go after two bros, so we could probably move these two backwards. Let's try that. Through the bear trap, that seems like a good move. Uh, you're going to move backwards to behind this guy. And then let's see how far this guy can run. Okay, good. So now we shoot him. Who are we going to target down? Probably want to target down the leader as quickly as possible. Shoot him. No leopard, you got your massive hammer. Do you want to engage him? You probably want to come there, but you'll get no, you want to come here and double swing on both of them. Who will you get engaged on though? Will you get engaged on the one I select? Because you want to engage the leader, obviously. So it hits both of them. Didn't engage either. So it doesn't engage either of them. That's such shit. Okay. So we now know that Snow Leopard's attack doesn't engage. Or something. Or maybe if there's two of them it doesn't engage. Well, I thought it was a good call. But he hasn't engaged the leader. So now... Now the leader's gonna fuck, fuck us up. New round is starting. Uh, you move to here and attack the leader. Slice the leader. Right, engage him. Do we taunt him? No, he'll be dead. Oh, this guy's fucking up Shadow Pierce. Just 
six damage. We can probably kill him with six damage, right? Like that. Yeah, I got him. There goes the leader. We still got this guy fucking him up. Oh, I didn't quite kill him. I was hoping it would. Fucker. So he's engaged with him. He's engaged with him. Oh, Gribbs has had his turn. He's had his turn. He hasn't. He hasn't. Can I disengage? No, I can run away. But I have to just attack. I have to keep fighting. It's like Battle Brothers. Once you're engaged, you're engaged. Yeah, we need one more bro to be able to do this. This guy's not tanky enough. He's going to die. Shadow Pierce is going to go down. Var Exa Trait 2. Can Shadow Band-Aid? Sorry, what? Val Exa Trait 2? I don't speak crazy. 71%. What if I move to, like, here? Have you got less chance of hitting your fucking ally? 100%. There you go. Okay, good. New round is starting. Let's see if I can taunt this guy. No, I have to be in combat. So move to here. Take him off him. And then attack. And gives his turn. Oh, he shot his mate in the face. That's fucking hilarious. It's good that the AI can do that as well. It's not just me who's missing and fucking shooting my own chap. Can Shadow Band-Aid? Oh, yes, he can. Shadow Pierce can. But he was in combat then, so he couldn't break free. Oh, sorry. I'm one of the bros. Got a new trait. Glorious. Yeah, this guy. He unlocked the glorious trait. I don't know how to check it, though, in the combat. Oh, here we go. Where does it say his traits? Oh, here, traits. Brawny, strong, glorious. Ta chance to generate one valor point at the end of their turn. That's cool. Chance to generate a valor point at the end of their turn. That's always useful. Uh, who have we got? We've got two people, and then this guy's going. This guy's been. This guy can probably come and fuck him up. Yeah. You can come and ruin his day. Galvanization occurs. Booyah. And then this guy's not going till then. So we want this guy to go next so that he doesn't shoot. So he's not in combat with anyone. Doesn't accidentally shoot one of our allies. And then end. Uh, and then you can attack. Put him in combat with you. Uh, yeah, I want I want Shadow Pierce to get the kills. She's gonna be our main killer, so I want her damage to go up. Sixteen damage. That would have been nice before. So we did it, guys. Your group is overtired. Your, com your companions might die of exhaustion if you keep walking. You really should rest. Okay, so combat, because this was about here, wasn't it? When we went into combat. So combat takes fatigue out of you as well, does it? That's good to know. So we got 21 crowns. We got wheat. And we got a hunter's bow. Small bow used for hunting. Dexterity plus three. Vicious shot skill. Deals 50 to 90% dexterity damage to the target. Knocks them back by two meters. 
Ah, so that's what they were using on us. Going to repair all. Who got the injury and what is it? Injured. Does it tell us what the injury is? Damage taken is doubled. Okay, we don't want that. We're going to heal him. You've just completed the mission, vanquished the Arnark gang, report to the emissary to claim your award. Cool. So, but we need to camp immediately now, right? Because we're out of fatigue. So we're going to go into camp. Camp is a place for your companions. Why can I not do that? Your companions need to rest. Yeah, why can't I camp? Oh, because it was paused. Right, okay. You can rest at a campfire in your camp, feed your troop and pay their wages to avoid unrest. Resting refills your fatigue meter, restores valor points and speeds up time. Can I pause it here? No. I'm guessing time doesn't continue while we're here though. So what have we got? We've got 130 crowns incoming. 93 crowns at the moment. We don't need to pay anyone. Oh, this guy's got an aptitude point. Okay. So, attributes. He can either put his willpower up. Critical hit, movement, or we can specialize. Valorous Audacity. Every time this unit ends their turn next to an enemy and is not engaged in combat, you gain one. One Valor point. Every time he ends his turn but isn't engaged. Okay. Every time this unit kills an enemy, you gain one Valor. Okay, that could be cool. Every time this unit ends their turn next to an ally and is not engaged in combat, you gain one. We're going to go for this. We're going to go for every time he gains a kill. And then we're going to put up his willpower. Because we want his willpower to be 12, which it should be now. Willpower is 11. Why did he not get 12 willpower? I gave him something that gave him an extra... Oh, no, I didn't. Because he already had Tinkerer. So we're going to get his willpower up to 12. That way when he dies, he, he survives. This unit survives the first time they should die in combat. Once per encounter. We're going for that with this guy. I have a hunch he's going to be going down a lot. Where's the archer? Snow Leopard, Gribs, Robin Hood. 5 to 9. Okay, so plus 1. That gives you the vicious shot. Deals 5 to 9 damage to the target. Knocks them back. So this is basically the same, but it's got knockback. Cool, we can sell the improvised bow now for 20 as well. That'll be good. Right, so campfire. You can use the campfire to pay and feed your troop. Assigned companion generates plus one during each rest. Your companions need to rest. Camping gear. Move to hold. What? Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Does that mean you build up your camp and I like, have to move stuff around and things? Use shift place in, place in inventory. So let's use it. 0 out of 18, 0 out of 1. Must consume alcohol with every meal to be happy. Oh, that's the horse, isn't it? I keep I forgot we've got the fucking drunkard horse. Why is it minus 1? If you rest now, your troop will be unhappy. Minus one, food requirements not met. Because of the drunkard, right? Wages to pay, zero. Danger level, none. We can't do anything about this because we don't have any alcohol. I should have bought some. Yep, and assign them a job. How do you assign them a job? Do, do I have to do that before I press rest? Workshop. A small makeshift workshop your companions can use to create useful items. Sign Tinkerer produces two... Ah, okay, produces two weapons per rest. So you can do that. Oh no, this is just if you want to build something. Oh, we can make fish hooks. If you've got enough iron ore. Let's, um... I don't want to do that. Let's do lockpick. Oh, we've got two lockpicks. Let's do a fish hook, yeah. Craft. Normal quality item obtained. First craft bonus. Discovery. 
Cool. Learned us a knowledge point. I like it. You're not sure. How do you assign them work then? How do you assign them a job? Paths, world map, compendium, inventory, camp. Oh no, if you click on that it gets rid of the camp. Okay. It makes stuff for you out of the raw materials. Okay, so this is still set up. So we're going to rest and we get, it should be minus one happiness. So we should go down to four happiness, which I can live with. Just because the donkey's unhappy because he's a fucking drunkard. You have gained two. Yep, the troop is well rested. Your troop's happiness increased by plus three. Plus four companions assigned to the campfire. Oh, okay. Plus minus one food requirements not met. Your troop's happiness is eight. Your companions are pleased. You have gained the following bonus. Maximum valor points increased by one. Great. I don't know what I did, but I think I did good, guys. Okay, so who is it? Shadow Pierce. Ah, gotcha. That's how you do it. So you click and hold and drag them onto it, but we don't have anything else. So I should have had signed him, but that's fine. That doesn't really matter. Okay, let's go to camp. Let's pause it and let's save it. Save name. Caesar 1. Uh, no, we're going to continue. You'll unlock more, yeah. Yeah, I figured we, that would be the case. Right, guys, I need to run to the loo. I will be right back in just a moment once I've got myself another drink as well. Please bear with me. Thank you so much for your patience.
Right, guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for your patience. Let's get on with this. Okay. Okay, so we need to head back this way. Well, there's something shiny sparkly here. There is something shiny sparkly. Go get it. Did someone say click on one of these? Okay, click on one of these. All right. Whoa, these guys look fucking mean as shit. Look at the size of that cleaver sword. Fucking hell. Fucking sex bots. Might it interest you in my humble wares, my lord? Brandy. Yeah, we're gonna buy that so we can feed it to the horse. Gonna buy a few of them. That's it. Thank you. For, oh, we can attack them. Wanted plus fifty to sixty. Fuck me. Your your um, suspicion goes up quickly. Yeah, it's down over here. If the horseshoe fits. Does that mean there's work? Strong crap. Hammer for hire. Does that mean there's there's work there for us? Oh, here we go. Tilton Lumber Mill. Go there to find out more. The locked room. Buy a pony to be eligible for the special offer. Find a blacksmith and bring him here. Go there to find out more. Find out more what? Oh, wait. Yeah. So we're going to come to the lumber mill quickly. Since it's saying go there to find out more. <clears throat> there has to be something going on here. Oh, what's this? Cut wood. Wood, cut wood. Select a warrior. We don't have a warrior. Okay. The highlight thing isn't very... Oh, locked. Use on eight key. Go down. Refugee, refugee. Work manual. Book dealing with traditional workmanship. Knowledge plus one. Take. Don't hurt me if they flog me one more time. Oh, poor refugees. This woman promised us honest labour, and look what we got. We're treated worse than slaves. Ah! Oh. And the guard turns a blind eye, but then again, why would anyone help the Edorian refugees? We'll help you. We're going to have a word with this bitch. Oh, she's gone. She's literally gone now. Does that mean I can steal the wood? Yes, I can take the wood. She must have done a runner. Anything else to take? That's really cool. I really like that. The fact that there's stuff to interact. Yeah, no one here. Okay, cool. We got a bunch of wood as well. Oh, shit. We just got a fucking attack by these crazy bitches. Sadly for you, ransacking a slave's basement tends to be a bad idea. Uh, requires five. Let's negotiate with them. We're not going to fight these guys. We'll get fucking ruined. Let's negotiate. If you want to talk, you'll have to prove your good faith. You did poke around my place after all. 20 fucking gold. Alright, fine. Fine, we'll make that back in the wood we got. Let's just avoid the fight for now, because I think they're going to fucking ruin us, these guys. They look really nasty. So we're going to use 20 to pay. How kind of you. You wish to deal with me? I suppose you could bring in new employees, and I'll give you wood in exchange. Very well, let's give it a go. Capture a refugee and bring them to me. Let me be clear, I have a heart and Tilton is my home. I don't want some honest farmer, only an Adorian refugee. Get chains, or we have to fight. Alright, let's accept. You have two days. After that, I'd assume you lot were taking the piss and I will find you. Fucking hell, are you kidding me? 
Oh, and don't even think about telling the guard. I pay them handsomely to look the other, to look the other way. You would hang in an instant. Are you fucking kidding me? Can we fight them after all? That didn't tell me that's how it would go down. That I've now got to find a refugee and in two days they're going to come and fight us anyway. What a load of bullshit. So how are we going to find an Adorian refugee? A Rodian refugee? I think we're going this way, right? Yeah, we're going straight down this way. It's quite far, actually. Hmm. Didn't notice this. Yeah, that's good. We can get healing stuff out of that. Why can I not pick up the comfrey? Thank you. Where is it? There it is. Something to... Okay, get the fuck out of there. Looks like there's some wolves. down this way some unlocks lakes makes you move for oh crowns I'll take those some unlocks uh, make you travel faster or use less food yeah I can imagine you get buffs and stuff like that old Wilbert's fishery we're gonna pick up the wood and we're gonna come to the fishery See what's going on at the fishery. Old Wilbert. Oh, was it that? We could try fishing. Eel. Let's talk to old Wilbert. You had to catch some fish? Well, I hope you know what you're doing. All right, let's give it a go. Fish. Swordsman confirm. Right, so what are we doing? Oh, I see. So you click and hold it enough to get it in the middle. I gotcha. I see how it works. I see how it works. Oh, we got no more hooks. Okay, so we got what? What did we get out of it? Perch. Perch and a pike. Cool. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. What's this? Pedra mountain mine. Why is this um, combat deserters level two henchmen? Okay, former members of the army have settled here. Okay, cancel that. That's like a bonus fight. We don't want to get into that just yet. How do we see like the health of our bros and stuff? They don't have. They don't seem to have health, do they? Their health seems to get fully. They seem to get full health after each battle, according to. What? I don't really know. Oops, I didn't mean to camp. Wrong thing. Sorry. Cancel the camp. World map. Just down here on the right, yeah. They're literally over here somewhere. We need to camp first, so we are actually going to set up camp. And these are all good. Boars and wolves also provide food. Okay, cool. So it may have been worth fighting those boars. Um... Read, read work manual. 
Receive one knowledge. Nice. Uh, so we're going to, yeah, we're going to use this. So the horse is going to drink its mead. Why can't I work this out? Because uh, we don't have enough. Yeah, no matter what, we're going to end up with 18 because everything's... Because we've got one fucking extra food, so... Yeah, whatever. Danger level average, 20%. Rest. Gains two of those. Troop is well rested. Troop's happiness increased by four. Plus three companions assigned to the campfire. Plus one other's a positive effect. Troop's happiness is 12. Companions are pleased. Okay. Cool. Let's get out of here. Looks like they're going to be up here somewhere. There's stuff off on our left as well. We'll eventually be able to get another horse. The armor degrades and it's... It, and is the important part. The armor degrades. What do you mean the armor degrades? Old Wilbert Sheepfold. Just further on the right that we're looking for these guys. It's like up here. We'll go to Old Wilbert Sheepfold first since it's right here. Yeah, it's like up there where those shiny things are. Danai Pavi, Theatre Pavi, Kratos Pavi. Inspect, bunch of food. This type of trunk is usually given a dowry for a wedding. This one looks fairly old. Fucking garbage in there. Uh, when the Lord La Lahart burned down my stables, my whole livelihood went up in flames. But Danae found us this place, a true blessing from the eye. Okay. My daughter is very proud to have secured the sheepfold, but we lack the necessary materials to rebuild it. Would you be willing to trade, for s trade some for a little food and a very useful recipe? Ten wood. We have ten wood, don't we? Mutton stew. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. Mutton stew could be really useful. Use wood times ten. Yes. Oh, you are ever so generous. I haven't been this happy since the beginning of the war. You have gained the recipe mushroom stew. Let's have a look. Cook apprentice required. Teaches you how to cook mutton stew. It's worth 50. We need cooking. Mutton, grape and salt. We need to find like a, a cooking bench or something in that case to learn cooking. You will have to constantly repair it like Battle Brothers. That's the true health. Yeah, yeah, I figured that. Fucking sex bots. Fuck off. My parents were sheep farmers back in Edoran. When I brought them to this abandoned sheepfold, their tired faces lit up. And I saw hope in their eyes for the first time since we left. Unfortunately, we just learned that this building belongs to a man called Wilbert. I would like to meet him and convince him to let us stay here. But I would feel safer if mercenaries such as you could escort me. The good people of Tildren do not look kindly upon us refugees. I fear this Wilbert person might become violent or refuse to even listen to me. I am willing to give you all I have for my parents' safety. What's that? Reward promise. A medallion, 20 influence and 20 of this stuff. Or leave. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, thank you. I will meet you there. Okay, it's just behind us. That's good. Is that the quest done here? The quest here done? 
because there's an exclamation point. New owners starting over. Complete. Follow mission instructions to complete this objective. Old Wilder Sheepfold. What? Give, commit, oh, convince old Wilbur. Oh, it says fishery. Oh, I see. That's where he went. Okay, yeah. I understand what we're doing now. She's going to go there and meet. Yeah, we'll go and meet her on the way back. We'll go do this fight first. Let's come and get this. Come and get this. 73 wages to pay, so I'll pay that tonight. Oh, it's these fuckers. There they are. Hey, come back. You're the fuckers we're supposed to be fighting, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. No, they're on our right. Ugh. We have to come all the way around. I like it how the map's actually... You can't just, like, go up a mountain. There they are, I think. Like you can in Battle Brothers. Like, you have to follow the terrain and the mountain actually blocks you. I quite like that. The maps, like, feel realistic. It's not like Battle Brothers where you just go over and it slows you down. Yeah, they're there. Combat them up. Add off the weasel. Two hoodlums, a poacher, and Alpha Weasel, same fight as last time. Not quite the same fight as last time. So, obviously, we want to poacher, add off the weasel, bear trap. Ribs there. Oh, he's in mud. What's that? What does the mud do? Requires move. Required movement is doubled if he's in the mud. Okay. When's this guy going? This guy's going first. Then this guy. Then Adolf the Weasel. Then Poacher. I see the mud's here, so maybe I put you there and just pull you all back. Because he's going third, so I could, I've got three moves, so I can pull you all back. Who goes first? This guy goes first. So if I pull you back first, Shadow Pierce, pull you back to... He should, he'll, he's going to be able to reach though, isn't he? Movement 12, he's going to be able to reach... Yeah, this is 10 meters to here. He's going to be able to reach the the um the archer probably. Let's just find out. Yeah, this isn't going to work cuz he can now just walk up and hit me. Rather than that, we're going to restart the battle. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. Combat and retreat. If you think you are fighting a losing battle, you can leave combat by hitting the retreat button. Your companions will suffer damage, but they will survive. Okay. That's good to know. I reckon we have the archer here because he's not going to move and he's got this protecting him. Gribs can come in from this way and attack the leader from here. No, from, yeah, from here. Then this guy can come up and attack the leader. This guy can come and attack him. This guy can backstab.
Keep him weakening. Eighty percent, twenty percent chance to hit him. Yeah, we're gonna hit shit our guy, aren't we? No, we didn't. Fucking awesome. Damn, my ninja's now engaged. Is this guy in mud as well? He is. Shit. I didn't realize this guy was in mud too. He can't do anything. Oh, he regained one because of Glorious. Get rid of all our armor. Need to get this guy, we can't quite reach him. That's annoying. We need to get this guy to stop him from running around behind the leader, behind the tank. We want to keep the leader engaged. Do we want to taunt? He's next. Yeah, we want to taunt to weaken him. Oh, Gribs unlocked the trait Resilient. That's good. What does that give him? Resilient. 5% chance of resisting poison, bleeding and burning. I'll take that. Very nice. He's been, he's been, he hasn't been. 100% shoot him. 20, no, let's um, come over to here. Can you not go in between? What, he can't go? Oh, whatever. 100%. Yeah, he's backstabbing him. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed disengage. We might as well come over here and stab this guy in the back then. Nice. Try to pierce him like the trait glorious as well. Uh, you can actually heal yourself. Oh, you can't do it on yourself. You can only heal someone else. So move to here and heal this guy. He's going to go down. He's going to shoot him. Yeah. So we need to finish the battle before this guy has a turn, right? Because he's poisoned, no one can heal him. We're not going to be able to. Because he's poisoned, he dies. Damage two. So he's just going to die. No one can heal him, right? No one's got bandages. No one else has the, the ability to heal. So we, need, we, know, we now know we need to pick up someone who can heal. Galvanization might help, but not really. He's already had his turn. He just had his turn. He's had his turn. Oh, it's because it's someone else's turn. 
Yeah, end his turn. I messed that fight up because I disengaged this guy. If I hadn't disengaged him, nine damage. Yeah, do it. We want to end this fight. He's got fury as well. Damage of the next attack increased by fifty percent. That's so annoying. This guy's going to die. Yeah, we have no choice. Can't heal himself. He just dies. We don't want to lose anyone at this point, so let's um, restart the battle. We had it, it's just I disengaged him. I pressed the wrong button. The shield I have is a literal barrel lid. Yeah, mate, it's fucking awful. We have got some awful equipment right now. So that was pretty good, actually. If I'd known, I would have done that. If I'd known that was in the mud, I would have done this. So we're going to do the same again, like that. Gribbs is going to come here immediately and go into him. Yeah. Gonna taunt the target to reduce his damage and then attack him. And Gribbs' turn. Got a crit, very nice. Now run to there. End his turn. Okay, good. The assassin went after this guy instead. So that's fine. Snow Leopard can handle himself against this guy. Should be able to anyway. We'll see how it goes. Not going to risk it. Last time we got lucky, but I doubt we'll get lucky again. Seven damage to the archer. That sucks. Nice. Slit his throat. Slit his fucking throat. And then move up and engage the archer. That's not good. You can attack him. Get him engaged so he doesn't run up and attack the archer. And the Gibbs turn. Yeah, so they're not engaged when they move next to the square. They have to actually attack. Come and help this guy with him. Nice kill. Oh, I should have bandaged him. That was stupid.
Snow Leopard, you beast. Oh shit, he just did seven damage to Gribbs. He almost fucked Gribbs up. Gribbs is taking eight damage. Fuck me. Right, we need to end this. He's been, he's been. He can go again and shoot this guy. Is he running? He's running, I think. No, he's not. He's going to shoot this guy now. Annoying. He's now dying, yeah. So, Snow Leopard, you can cut, you can shoot this guy. We've got three. No, you move actually to here. See if you can shoot this guy. You can't quite shoot him. Okay, shoot and kill this guy then. Galvanization. Come up to him and fuck him up for the finish the fight. Nice. We got another fucking valor point as well. Good, everyone survived. Ten crowns, fucking three comfrey, a lockpick, and ringleader's dagger. Level 1. Short blade, practical and sharp, highly sought after by bandits. Dexterity plus 5 gives you the dex devious whirlwind skill. Deals 70 based on your dexterity damage to all the units in the air area if this attack hits several units. Creates a cloud of poison under each of them. Cloud of poison applies two poisons to any unit that walks through the cloud or ends a turn within it. That is fucking nice. I'm going to repair all, which is four. And you've got two injuries. Grib's got... This unit slowed to half of their capacity. Ruptured ligaments and... Snow Leopard got the same again. So we're going to heal both of them off. So now everyone's full health, right? If you look at them, yeah, they go back to being full health. Snow Leopard gets... Okay, specialization. Vanguard. Available equipment, medium armor, medium armor, heavy armor. Oh, I see. So one of them gives you different types of armor as well. I didn't notice that. Relentless charge disengages and charges in a straight line, deals seven damage to all units in their path and applies slowdown for one round. Okay, that could be quite cool. Oh, weakening blow sounds really good. Oh, it requires one thing, though. But then we get heavy armor as well. Yeah, let's go with weakening blow. I want this guy in heavy armor as soon as you can wear it. Constitution is more health. Willpower. We probably want willpower. Upgrade willpower. Yeah, now he gets... Survives the first time he dies once per encounter. That'll be useful, I think. That's basically like nine lives, I guess. You have just completed the mission of Vanquish the Adolf Gang. Report to the Amazon to claim your award. There's a bunch of bandits there we can take. Let's go here and get this stuff. Why can't we pick it up? Pick it up, please. Thank you. Ooh, what's this? There's loads of stuff to collect. You just wander around collecting stuff. Hell yeah, I'm a beast. I just got a famed dagger. Yeah, we did just get a famed dagger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's save it and uh, go and deal with these fuckers. This looks like another fight we can do. Two hoodlums and two poachers. Yeah, we can deal with that. Oh, I forgot to equip the, f the new dagger. We can't do it from in here, can we? Okay, so 8 meter shot deals 5 damage to the target and it knocks them back as well, did you say? 
poacher here can easily be se separated and killed. Snow leopard there, this guy here. So this guy is going to come to here and attack this hoodlum and tie him up. He's got 26 health, fuck. Gribs, you can move to here. No, who's going next? He's going next. What's his movement? 12. Oh, there we go. That's how you see his movement. So as long as I face this way... He won't be able to backstab me. <clears throat> Still did eight damage, fucking hell. me back. Annoying. We can still get here and hit these two. Oh, it's not as wide swing that one isn't. This one is though. We can hit both of them with that. We should hit both of them, yeah? Yeah, we did. Good. And we're going to weakening blow this guy as well. We get our valor back. We're about to rest. We get our valor back when we camp. So get we get these valor points back. Hundred percent. Yeah, go for the hundred percent guy. Tanks in trouble. Who goes next? This guy, then this guy. We need to kill this guy. Oh, he just came up and just shot him right in the back. Now he's only got four health. This guy doesn't stand a chance of killing this, of surviving. Against his hoodlum. You can taunt him. No, don't even bother taunting him, just attack. Now he's gonna wreck you. Ten. Seven damage. Eleven. Get your fury up. Oh, you fucking oh, I thought he was shooting this guy. I was like, you fucking asshole. Come around here and heal him. He's not engaged in combat. What the fuck? Oh, it requires one. Vi we it requires one of these. We don't have any valor points, so that was a mistake. So I just messed up. Oh, and he gets a valor point back at the end of his turn. That's so fucking ironic. Now he, this guy's definitely going to die. Would 
He's dying as well. We almost had it. I just fucked it up. Uh, restart the battle. Hmm. These guys are tougher than the uh, the bandit leader we just fought. Yeah, I forgot to equip it in the this battle. That was really stupid of me. Would have been really nice to have it. So you go here. You come here. Let's swap you two. Because this guy goes hoodlum, then poacher, then this guy. That guy goes last. So, yeah. First thing you're going to do is run up to this poacher and start messing him up. You come as far away from these guys as we possibly can. We don't care about weakening him. We just care about boshing him and stopping him from firing. He should just run up and not be able to do anything. Uh, I don't want to commit you, so... You can come and get this guy, yeah. Come throw... Or do I want this guy to do it? Yeah, I want you to throw it. How do you interact with it? Spear throw. Do you have to walk over to it? Yeah, you have to walk over to it. Walk to there. You should be able to get it from there. Yeah, spear throw. Oh, you can't because it's too... F oh, okay, let's restart. I get, I'm, getting how, I'm just getting an idea of the mechanics. I'm seeing how it all fits together. Could have had a bit more range damage with the javelins. Yeah, I've just noticed them. I, I see how you have to—you actually have to use the map quite a lot. It's quite cool. I like it. There's no RNG to it like Battle Brothers, where you have to. You take your chances, but you have to strategize a bit better. So this guy can just reach wherever. But I'm going to come and lock him down before he can. So this guy just comes to here. 7.57 7 meters. He should be able to use the spear. And the guy should still be in range. Yeah, good. Oh, there was... Didn't see the bear trap there. Aha, he shot his mate in the back. That's hilarious. Uh, Gribs can come here. Uh, yeah, come here so he doesn't get backstabbed. Taunt him and weaken him. You want to shoot this guy to knock him backwards. Where's your radius? So if I move to here, I should be okay. If I move to there, I should be okay. Yeah, shoot him. Knock him backwards. Oh, you shot the archer, you fucking ding-dong. Now he's going to come and slap... Oh, he's hacking up the tank. That's good, I think. I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't even know. New round is starting. Right, you can run round to behind. And stab this guy in the back. And turn. Fuck. Now he's being poisoned, stabbed in the back.
Oh, he shot the sniper through there. He shot the archer. How do you do that? Damn it, die already! Fuck's sake. He's gonna get an attack off. The other guy is gonna get an attack off. Just add another stack of poison to me, that's really annoying. Shit, so I have to kill this guy so I'm no longer engaged. Uh, you do it, will you kill him? Yeah, so kill him. Very nice, Gribs, very nice. Now you're no longer engaged, which means he shouldn't backstab you. In fact, you can probably run away. Who's the healer? This guy's the healer. So run to here. Actually, I should taunt this guy, shouldn't I? Should have taunted him, whatever. Just stay there, Gribs. I was going after the archer. Shit, now the archer's in trouble. These guys are tougher than the bandits we just fought. Yes, go and help him. This guy's got like full health. Shoot him in the back. Damn it, I was hoping you'd shoot your mate in the back. Yeah, disengage and run to here. Oh, you can shoot him as well. Nice. No, I need that one for healing. This guy goes then, so you need to come and engage him. You just slit his throat. You didn't, that sucks. Now he's gonna get now he's gonna get Oh he generated one of those because of glorious, brilliant. Assassin's bin, right? This guy's bin, this guy's bin, yeah, so this guy needs to attack. We can use 7 to 9, no, just do a normal attack. Oh, this fucker's coming back, he's gonna shoot someone, shoot this guy please. Yeah, good, he's still got the armor to deal with it. Uh, so move to here. And heal the dying guy. Nice, that brings him back to three health and not poisoned. Now charge the archer. Uh, you can charge the archer. No. You can do this guy in. 
six damage. It'll leave him with one, so we want to use Wrath, really. Get Galvanization and stuff. Fury, move to here. Right, everyone gank the, gank the leader, uh, the, the last poacher. You might want not to taunt until you need to, otherwise the air might naturally latch onto the bottleneck. Might give you more points to start, slash. Close, though. That was an execution. Yeah, mate, it's, it, this is a close fight. Very close. He can't quite reach, unfortunately, so we're just going to end. You can't shoot anyway, so you're going to just run up to here and see if you can shoot through, but I doubt you can. No, you've got 20% chance to hit us, so don't shoot. Oh, he fucked this guy up and he's now dying again. Capture. When an enemy has less than half of their health left, use chains or rope to capture them. Place one of your units next to an engaged enemy and try to capture them. Alright. Knock out. Knocks out an enemy while they are engaged with an ally. They will be taken prisoner after combat ends. Requires chains. Alright, let's do it. 52% chance. Success! We did it. We even captured someone, guys. Yeah, it's tough fights. I like it. Professor's Hourglass. Used by the greatest professors in the most prestigious universities in Al-Azhar to avoid having to teach their students one second too long. I like it. That's really funny. 24 crowns and another dagger, but it's not that good. Damaged dagger. It's the same thing as we've got. We're going to loot all. We're going to repair all. We're not going to heal all. We're going to heal a couple of them. Jeez, we've got some messed up people. Gribbs has got constitution reduced by half. He's got... His unit has slowed to half of their capacity. Well, he's only an archer, so that's fine. And this guy has willpower reduced by half. So how do you treat individual... In, um, oh, you treat it like that. Heal. And this guy needs to heal that. Gribs leveled up. Aptitude points. So, encouragement. The, un the unit and all allies in the area gain protection for two rounds. That's cool. That's heavy armor as well. Destabilizing strike. Deals 5 to 7 damage to the target and applies destabilization for 2 rounds. Guard reduced to 0. Okay. And Swordmaster. Laceration. Deals 5 damage to all units in the area 2 times. Usable after 2 attacks. Performed attacks out of 2. Okay, so you attack twice and then you use Laceration, which takes 2 um, of these, whatever they're called again, Valor Points. No, I don't. I like the protector one more. Unit and all allies in the area in a six-meter area. That's pretty good. That's basically all units in the fight are going to get damage reduced by thirty. Yeah, let's go for protector. Uh, willpower we can't put up anymore. Movement we could put up. I think we go for constitution though, since he's a tank. Yeah. Okay, so who gets the dagger? Guess who gets the dagger? Shadow Pierce. You can sell them to the local guards. Sell who? The prisoners. Uh, I need to capture one of them, don't I? I need one of them for... Um... The slavers who are going to come and find me in two days' time. I need a prisoner for them, so I'm going to keep him for that. 
So that's dexterity plus two and the stab skill. Ambush increases critical hit chance by an extra 30%. That sounds really good. That sounds better than this. See, I like ambush. That's the thing. That puts my dexterity up, yes, but I'd much rather have fucking an extra 30% chance to do critical damage. 30% chance to do critical when attacking from behind. Yeah, we want that, to be honest. Or do we want this? Ringleader's dagger. Short blade, practice and sharp. Devious whirlwind skill, stab skill you lose. So what's the devious whirlwind again? Deals 8 damage to all units in the area. This attack hits several units, creates a cloud of poison under each of them. That's like an AoE thing. I don't really want that. It was good on the... On the uh, it was good on the brigand leader because he had critical hits established. So I think I'm just going to sell them. Yeah, the one lady. Yeah, that crazy slaver lady in the uh, wood parlor. Right, so we we definitely... I'm not going to equip that dagger. We don't want it. We're going to sell it. Uh, yeah, we're going to... We're going to camp. Because we need to. Poacher level 2 without a profession inspect. So what? He's Isn't he injuries and status? This, this unit can no longer deal a critical hit. Laceration. Solitary damage increased by 10% if not next to an ally in combat. Unlucky. So he's a prisoner, right? So what, what's this about? Oath of Carrots. Damage dealt to targets engaged in combat increased by 30%. That's fucking cool. But I guess because he's a poacher. So what, is he going to try and run away? Trust. This prisoner can be wary of the troop or trust them. Manage companion. Release or dismiss. Okay. So I guess he's just going to stick around or something. I'm not really sure. Use, we need food, 21. We need one of those, 17. 21, job done. And we need to pay 73 wages, so we're going to pay that. And you can see the stats as a prisoner. Yeah, I was just wondering if I had to do something with him, like... To make sure he didn't escape. Make sure he doesn't run off. I suppose he's shackled, so that will do. Gained two uh, valor points. The troop is well rested. Troop's happiness increased by four. Companions are happy. You have gained five uh, influence. You've gained the following bonus experience. Gained in combat increased by 15%. Good. So where are we going again for the next... Yeah, we're going here, aren't we? Going to Old Wilbert's Fishery. Let's save it. You could pay for a prisoner. Oh shit, these fuckers are coming at us. Yeah, also you could pay for a prisoner and get them as a bro if needed be too. Okay, so they're just like worse bros, I'm guessing. I patiently waited for my slaves but soon realized they would never come. You wish you never lied to me. Farewell. We've literally got a slave right here. We were bringing them to you right now. Combat. Inner's ringleader level one. Two hoodlums, two poachers. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Okay, so moral of the story is don't fucking snoop about in other people's properties. Inez and Hoodlum over here. We're going to gank them over there. Definitely. Robin Hood can go there. Snow Leopard can go here. This guy can go here. 
swap in with him. First thing you're going to do is run up to the leader. Oh, who's going first actually? This this guy over there is going, then this guy, then the leader, then this guy. When's this guy going? He's not even in the initiative order. So you get three goes. So this guy can run up and comp get him tied up. This guy can run up and get him tied up. And this guy can run up and backstab him. And the archer can shoot these guys to keep them back. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to try. Run up to him. And slice him. We're not going to do that just yet. Not going to do that just yet either. Oh, you fucker, you can reach. Seven damage immediately. Don't tell me you can reach as well. That would blow. She's going to go next. That's fine. We need to come and tie this person up. Hey, generated the thing from Glorious. Nice. 10 damage. See, I knew we should have weakened her. She's got a crit. No crit. That sucks. Oh, that's why he can't move. He's got ruptured ligaments. That's annoying poison. New round is starting. Who goes next? This guy. So we need to kill him immediately. Why can we not do this? Fatal blow. Why can I not do fatal blow? Deal seven. It wouldn't be enough anyway. You can backstab him and kill him. Very nice. Very, very nice. This guy's going there. Shit, I should have healed this guy. have healed this guy badly. Right, who's next? This chick is next. So you can you can walk up and just bosh her. Come from behind and bosh her with weakening so she doesn't do a load of damage. Weakening bosh her for three turns. Uh, and then you can attack as well like that. For 11 damage, very nice. Fuck, just finish her off, actually. Yeah, I want you to get the buff. I don't want her attacking, and I want you to get the damage buff. Fury. You've got the least amount of health, Snow Leopard, so stay behind, because you're poisoned as well. Oh, they can move fucking miles. That'll hopefully knock me out of range of this one. Yeah, I just want to stay where I am with this guy. And then come and engage him. No, he didn't knock me out of his range. That's a shame. 
Miranda starting that guy, then okay, so this guy needs to come immediately and engage him. Oh, come on. They're just shooting the tank now. Do this again. Galvanization and fury, very nice. This map was really favorable for us. Oh, I could have moved up and healed again. What am I doing? Exterminate this guy, please. That will give us a valor point. And then you can heal this guy. Yeah, that's cool that you can do it if he's in combat. But not if you're in combat. Stop that. He's busy. How do you get a prisoner after a fight? I missed it. You just have to have shackles and you have to knock them out. Basically, if they're engaged with another enemy, you can walk up behind them and stun them. You've got a limited possible chance of it succeeding. And when we did it, it was only 52%. And then if you have shackles, you can take them as a prisoner. We can't heal anything. We're going to repair everything. We're going to loot everything. Outlaw's Tunic, level 1. I wish I hadn't just... I wish I just fought them to begin with. Instead of paying them all that stuff... Bullshit. Repair all the armor. Can't heal anything. Robin Hood has another level. Or has a level. Valorous Audacity. So turn next to an enemy is not engaged. Oh, it's the same thing. Every time this unit kills an enemy, you gain one. Ends their turn next to an ally is not engaged in combat. You gain one. Uh, we want this, probably. And movement would be good. Just so you can get into range and move into places where you can shoot. Uh, where is Shadow Pierce? I think you're going to get this. Cannot equip light armor. Why not? Because he hasn't got light armor. There we go. Light armor, light armor, light armor. He needs to be level 3 for light armor. So we're going to save this for him. Movement plus 2, critical hit plus 1, armor plus 9. That's definitely one for Shadow, P Shadow Pierce. Right, we're out of food. We're out of fucking... We're out of stuffs. We just need to head back to town. Oh, 
I pressed uh, the wrong thing. Uh, so now we've got a slave. I might as well sell him because those fuckers came and attacked us anyway. So I might as well sell him to the guys like you were talking about, Lance. Um, we're going to here, aren't we? Well, Willibert's fishery. Why refuse? We are sheep farmers. If you would just let us stay in the sheepfold, we could... Absolutely not. Inherit this barn for my sister. I will not let anyone take it from me. But you're not even using it. You are a fisherman. What use would you have for a sheepfold? That is none of your business. I will do as I please with my property. And I will do what I must to protect it from raiders. So what's going on here? Inspect. Uh, talk to her. I will not go anywhere until this old fool comes to his senses. I refuse to send my parents out on the road again. I just can't do it. You agreed to help me, so please convince him to let us stay, and you'll get your reward. Uh, how do I convince him? Can I convince him with my sword? What's it to you if I use that sheepfold or not? It has nothing to do with it. That pile of rubbish is mine. That woman has no right to stay there and is making a fuss. I'll pay you handsomely if you make her leave. Threaten. Bribe. Accept. I'll get fly 20 and 20 or leave. Oh, I've already... I can't fucking threaten him. I can't bribe him because I don't have enough money. I'm going to have to accept it and just see if I can get her to leave instead now. So I accept that. Talk to her. Oh, uh, uh, we have to attack her. Really? What's Gribbs', what's Gribbs's injury? She so can longer deal a critical hit. That's fine. We can deal with that. We're going to attack her then. Since that has no consequences. Or no apparent consequences. I don't like the idea of fighting her, but where is she? Uh, what the fuck? Where is she? Hello? Gribs, Robin Hood, Snow Leopard, Shadow Pierce. Where's she? Um, is she like invisible or something? I don't really know where she is. Well, how can I start when I don't know where the fuck she is? Okay, let's just end our turns to see what happens. End turn. End turn. End turn. End turn. Oh yeah, she's hidden in the she's hidden in the fucking mist. can bosh and weaken her. Don't know what she expected to happen, really, with four of us on her. Yeah, I think it's a tower like building my memories about as good as a year and a half old from the game Fog of War. Yeah, something like that. I feel really bad now, but whatever. Uh, we're going to repair all, because why not? You happy now, you fucking asshole? How fine work you've done there, that's a relief. Here's a little something for your efforts. I don't know what I'm going to do with that sheepfold yet, but it's a matter of principle. Gain fly, you chase the refugees from the sheepfold. Okay.
plus 20 what? Doesn't say if it's good or bad that I've got 20. It just says plus 20. And we got fly as well. What was that? Fly. Attach the end of a fishing line. The fly imitates the movement of insects above the water. Has a bonus to catch two fish at a time. Backpack accessory. So how do we give that to someone? Who's our fisher? You're our fisher. Equip. Okay, it goes there. Cool. So we're going to have a go at the fishing now. Do we have any more hooks? I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't have hooks. So the, fl the fly thing is, is just uh, an accessory which goes on the end of the hook. You still need hooks to do it. That's cool. So, happy with that-ish. Come and inspect this, see what's going on here. Take that. Uh, we need to go back to town. Plateau stables, storm crap. We need to go left. We need to come up over here, that's where it is, yeah. Survivors, five out of a hundred. Does that mean we're day five? We survived five days. Yeah, I think so. We have to get back to... The refugee leader has caught wind of your actions. He wishes to meet you in the haven. Progress made your discoveries has earned you a knowledge point. Okay. Oh, this is a wealthy farm. Are we going the wrong way? We're going the wrong way. Stormcrap's the other way. We need to go this way. We're not going to make it in time. We're going to have to camp. We don't have enough food, I don't think. Should be able to make it to town just. There it is. Storm cap. Strom cap. So this is the story progress moment, good for fishing and getting more out of your hooks. Yes, exactly. I think it was worth it. It's a bit annoying that your that your um, troop gets stuck on the fucking rocks. Master Hulan's Ford. Let's see if we can sell him some coal. Use my hand to repair your armor. I'm looking for a... Okay. We need to get our money first before we do any of this. No, we can't sell him coal. Oh, we can sell this dagger for 36 and the bow for 20 and the other dagger for 24. That's very nice. It's rare, but you can be struck by lightning. Oh, really? Does it kill you instantly? That would be really funny in a way. I'm going to sell these weapons. Okay, we need to get some food. We need to camp. Yeah, I didn't get enough food. Let's, uh, where's the exit? Exit, go to the market. Go to the market, buy some food. With the money we've got, two food for three, two food for three, two food for three. So it's all two food for three. How much is wages? 76. We've got enough wages to pay still. So let's leave. Uh, let's set up camp. Let's get some food. Yeah. Rest. Gained 20. Fucking hell, we've got a lot of influence now. We can hire a couple more new guys. Um, let's go to the camp. I dare say I'm quite proud of myself. Some might even say that the troop can do without me. 
What? Who is this? This is... Retail gets three happiness, three valor points. Suggested by Robin Hood. Gets 20 influence and two valor points. Or daydream. Reflect this feat of daring do. 26 XP. I say we exhort. I know what, I want happiness actually. Let's go for retell the story of this Kudus battle again. Okay. Weird. Uh, who's Manobald and what can we sell him? We can't sell him anything apparently. None of the, nothing's going for cheap at the moment. So... I'm just going to leave. We need to heal at the apothecary. Oh, I was doing a playthrough and she was fighting boars in a rainstorm and it happened. Okay, might I suggest someone with a reach weapon like a spearman? Okay, so there are reach weapons in the game, are there, where you can hit over your your enemy in front? Is that what the spearman does? Hey, Sneaky, welcome back, buddy. You should be our new hire once we get them. Yeah, Sneaky, you're just in time for us to hire a new bro. Once we've got our money, uh, let's go to the apothecary clinic. Apothecary first. If we craft anything, no, we need uh, snow iris. Can we buy snow iris? She doesn't have it, no. Heal requires 40. Yeah, we're going to heal everyone. We're not buying loads of medicine. How the fuck do you get replaced medicine then? That's crazy. It's 39 just to replace the fucking injury. Just to stop to, to heal an injury. That is a lot of money. Let's go to Traveler's Feast. Canned in our contracts. Might be looking for work. Collect bounty. Boom, 255 for your missions. Average, hard, hard, average, easy. Vanquish the jaw crack, we'll accept that, yep. Okay, not too far from here. Locate the Tomb of the Ancients. Yeah, okay. Um... Let's get some of these since we've got enough money for it now or enough influence. Oh, one of them's gone. Okay. A wife of man condemned to gallows desperately seeking help. Someone needs to help the abandoned tower. At least that's what he's screaming out the window. The captain of the guard looking for mercy to help him bring a criminal to justice. We're going to go for this one. Cool. I thought you might be interested in anything else I can do for you. Okay. So that should mean we've got two missions now. Is that right? Oh, what? Uh, Oh, the refugee wait leader awaits you in Haven. That's one mission that we've got. That's the bounty that we've got to do. And this is the captain of the guard looking for mercenaries to help him bring a criminal to justice. Okay. Oh, that's by a horse, isn't it? Yeah. How's the story going? Yeah, the story is kind of going there. We um, we got on the wrong side of some slavers. And they attacked us. I tried to convince them not to by promising them I'd bring them a slave. And they came and attacked us before I could bring the slave to them. So we ended up paying them loads of stuff. Losing all the stuff and then having to fight them in the end anyway. So it hasn't been the best starts, but whatever. Yeah, and like set for this. What? Yeah, and like set for is someone passes through an area, they get the old BB spare wall effect. 
Oh really? So there's a zone of control with the spear as well. Because I've noticed there's no attacks of opportunity. Well, there are, but there's no like zone of control. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to move on. I, I'm starting to get tired, so I'm going to end the stream in a minute, guys. But we can definitely hire a spearman first. We need to talk to this guy and get food. Well, we definitely need more of this. That would be 30. We're going to hire all of that because otherwise... Control. Buy all for 30. Yes, please. Um... We're not going to rest. That requires loads of money. Leave that. Right, the inform... No, sorry. For a new person. Yeah, we are. So what have we got here? This guy's new. 30 and 60. Ah, oh, he's a swordsman. We need a spearman, right? Taunt, yeah, we've got... You've already got a tank, and he's not very good, this guy. Oh, here we go. Spearman level one. Strength seven. That's pretty good, isn't it? Constitution nine. Willpower 16. Fuck me. She's, her, she's fucking volunteer as well, so her wages are reduced by 10%. And she's confident, so her willpower is improved by 2. So she's got 16 willpower. She's fucking good, this chick. What is this? Strength, impale skill. Damage to the target knocks them back 1 meter. Damage is double if used from a distance. Melee range 3 meters. Strength. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're hired, chick. Yeah, the willpower is really nice, but I could. it would be nice if it was strength that was 16, but whatever. We're going to hire her anyway, because she's the only spearman here. Well, let's have a look at the other chick, finally. Um, this guy, or this person. She's a brute. We've already got a brute. We don't need a brute. We're going to get the spearman, like you suggest. Yeah, spearman level 1. 30 and 60, you're recruited. Melind has joined your troop. Your companions are happy. How many can you get? How many is the maximum number you can have? Buy some boards to test things out. Get some food. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Um, Two hundred and seven. What else do I need? I need food as well and tools. Master Hulan's forge. We need. We need raw materials. How many's got twenty? So it'll cost a hundred to get me all of them. Is that worth it? Probably worth it, right? Buy 100 tools at this point. That'll leave me with 107, enough to pay my men. We don't necessarily need all of them, actually. We can get 50. We can get, like, 15. And we need wound stuff. Where's the apothecary? It's fucking expensive, but we have to buy medicine. We have to. Oh, we don't even have enough for our wages now. Fuck. I might sell the cloth. Sell for one. The coal we bought it just hasn't been good. No, Sneaky, you can have her. That's fine. I think eventually 12. Really, you can have 12 people in the roster. That's quite a lot. Um, I 
I want to sell most of this stuff somewhere where it'll be good value, but I don't know where that is. We're not healing this guy. We're going to sell him to someone. Uh, let's go to the forge, see if we can craft anything with the iron that we've got. Iron ore. No, we need wood and leather and stuff. All right. Okay, so we obviously have to improve our renown or something. Let's do that. What was I thinking about getting? Got food. We've got tools. We've got a couple of medicines. You can use raw materials to upgrade armor. So how are you liking the game? I'm really liking it. It's really good so far, Sneaky. I, we, we've tip of the iceberg barely scraped into it at all, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, medicine seems hard to come by, but I, I don't know. It's just maybe I just don't know how to do it. Um, so Sneaky Lil Co. Sneaky Co. Oh, it'll have to be Sneaky Kobold. There you go, Sneaky Kobold. And the other companions approve. I love it. They're like, she is a Sneaky Kobold. Um, yeah, the Hourglass doesn't sell for very much. It's only sold for like eight, so... I'm going to wait until I can sell it somewhere better. We've got everything we need. We've got enough food. We can do a couple more fights. We just need to get a bit more money and then get our pay. Next due date is in seven hours. Fuck. In seven hours, I have to pay... Right, we're going to go to the apothecary uh, and we're going to sell all of these fucking flowers we've got. Sell for two. Till we've got enough. 94, wages 92. That will have to do. We're just going to sell all of them actually because we need more money. We'll keep like four. Nope, sell them all. She can keep them there and we'll buy them at some point if we need them. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there. It's been like three hours, three and a half hours nearly. Uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It is a really, really cool game. Return to menu. Yeah, really enjoying it so far. There's obviously a lot of depth to it. I've only scratched the surface. I'm looking forward to sinking my teeth into it more tomorrow afternoon. But that'll be after the Battle Brothers stream. Tomorrow morning we'll be streaming Battle Brothers. I'll get a good few hours of that done. And then we'll dive back into War Tales in the afternoon. So guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate it. This game looks like a lot of fun. I can't wait to see how the company grows and progresses. And what challenges we will topple. Exactly, mate. Me neither. I'm really looking forward to it. This is going to be a blast for you. Yeah, I hope so. I think so as well. It's been fun, man. You've got me back into it. Cool. My pleasure, Gribs. Um, yeah, hopefully see you all in tomorrow's episode. If not, see you in some other content I produce. I make content almost every single day. So, Sal, wait till next time.